Hello students, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna discuss to you all about the logic statement. So without further ado, let's get started. So before I proceed to our discussion, let me first introduce to you the mathematicians who make a serious study all about the logic. So first, it is all about the Gottfried Leibniz, which is he tried to advance the study of logic primarily into a philosophical subject into a formal mathematical subject and never achieved this goal. Kaya, tinulungan naman siya ni Augustus de Morgan at saka ni George Ball, na kung saan na-contribute itong dalawa sa advancement of symbolic logic as a mathematical discipline. So now, let's proceed to logic statement. Every language contains the different types of sentences, such as the questions, commands, or even opinions. So for instance, we have, Sir, may assignment po ba ako? So this type of sentence is what we call a question. Am I right? Yes, very good. It is a question. Another one, kunin mo nga yung ballpen ko. So this type of sentence is what we call. Yes, very good. This is a command. The third one, ang ganda ng ati mo bro. So this is what we call an opinion. The last one, Manila is the capital of the Philippines. So this sentence is what we call the statement of fact. So now, ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng statement? So I have here a definition of statement. So statement is a declarative sentence that is either true or false, but not true or false. Ibig sabihin, itong sentence na ito, hindi natin masasabihin not true or false. Pero hindi natin maaaring sabihin na yan ay true at false. Example, January 21, 2021 is Monday. Question, is this sentence is a statement? Yes, very good. It is a statement. Bakit? Hindi natin malalaman na yung January 21, 2021 ay Monday. See, it could be true. Okay? It could be also false. Maaring tingnan natin sa kalendaryo natin na yung January 21, 2021 ay maaring Sabado. So, it could be false. Sabi nga sa definition, the statement is a declarative sentence that either true or false. So, kung hindi natin alam kung true or false, that is what we call a statement. Pero, hindi natin maaring sabihin na ito ay true tsaka false. Dapat iisa lang. Maaring sabihin natin ito true at hindi false. At maaring sabihin natin false at hindi naman true. So, this sentence is what we call statement. Very good. Now, we will identify these sentences whether a sentence is a statement or not. Example number one. Florida is a state in the United States. Question, is this a statement? Yes, very good. So, Florida is one of the 50 states in the United States. So, we can conclude that these sentences is what we call a statement. Next, how are you? So this sentence is a type of questioning. So now, we can conclude that this sentence is not a statement because based on the definition of the statement, statement is a declarative sentence. So we can say that this example number two, how are you, is not a statement. Next, 2 raised to 2 plus 2 is a prime number. Statement or not? The answer is yes, it is a statement. Hindi natin alam na kapag nakuha natin ang sagot at malalaman natin na prime number siya, could be a true or statement pa rin siya. At hindi din natin alam or hindi natin talaga alam kung prime mga ba yung resulta nito. So it could be also false. So either true or false is also called a statement. Next, y plus 6 is equals to 9. A statement or not? The answer is yes, very good. It is a statement, and this kind of sentence is what we call the open statement. Kasi pwedeng maaring iba yung value ng y para mag-satisfy doon sa 9. So this is also what we call a statement. It could be either true or false. Now it's your turn trying to answer this. Check your progress and leave a comment below of your answers of these questions. So that's all for it for now. Bye.